group of good people for us um, we can enjoy a similar community with people with similar mindset you know having fun together the town itself is yeah we're more geared toward tourists who are coming to do a tandem and eat on the beach and drink beer and sunshine themselves so it's yeah it's nice to be here with people doing the same thing we're from all around the world and it's cool that we're here together to do it attention to is their mindset it's probably number one above everything because at the end of the day all the accidents yeah I can pretty much say all of the accidents are happening from the person's decisions and what they're feeling themselves whether they're overconfident or the ego or they're showing off or they're not doing it for the right reasons not choosing the right conditions not being able to walk down etc so I think that's probably one of the biggest things in this sport that causes accidents and injuries it's very easy to get caught up into it. I have myself, and I'm sure pretty much everybody who flies has. And yeah, I think that's a very big part of self-learning in this sport, as with life, but especially when they're dealing with extreme environments and risky situations. <laughs>
doesn't really matter to me what I'm doing. I just, I like being one with nature and trying to, you know, be part of that element. So when you're out speed flying, you're part of the, the wind and the mountains and the line. And you just gotta be like in the moment for that minute and a half or five minutes, whatever you get. Get myself together. Who would have thought without you I'd be better. Brace yourself, I'm ready for another. I said it once before. so much flight time often we're hiking and flying and uh, when we're learning hiking and flying we're getting so much less time under the wing and to get your skills developing fast uh, having this kind of altitude is amazing I mean we're fly the guys are flying for four or five minutes each flight and they're doing that multiple times a day so the, the skill can build quite quickly yeah the launches are beautiful they're concrete they're <laughs> they're paved <laughs>
wonderful part about it is when I travel the world, I get to meet all these wonderful people who tell me the stories of that I was inspiring them to start flying, that that was what they were watching, the GoPro series or something that I've done, and that really started a fire within them, and now they're flying many years later, or they've just started, and it still continues to inspire people, so that's a beautiful side to it. The biggest risk for skydivers is they come from flying fast parachutes so they think automatically when they get on this parachute and they start to feel like that and that's dialed in they're good to go they can do whatever they like and they sort of push the envelope a bit and that yeah leads to leads to crashes and there's always a, a big area of knowledge that they don't have coming into the sport and if they don't really come humble and ready to learn and ask questions and and be a student again at this beginning then it's a very dangerous situation to be in but if it's treated right and they come with the right mindset and they're ready to ask questions and learn and really work on their essentially their takeoff is obviously their biggest learning area and that's also one of the biggest um, areas of incidents then <laughs> oh, fucking beautiful highest point mm. We're going on some mirror rolls and then driving in the train for the end. Get nice and tight. Amazing. Power gliders, paradise. Yeah, your first time here, right? First time here. And what do you like it more? Just like how many pilots there are, big community, um, massive mountains, very easy to get up. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing, bro. <laughs> Like it more. Oh, swoop, uh, swoops. <laughs> oh, sick, man. Sick. <laughs> that was pretty cruisy, eh? <laughs> yeah. That was nice. Beautiful. We're out here in the Ludinus doing some speed flying. We got a bunch of people. It's been pretty rad. Yeah.